Greetings, welcome back to more Unity. I, I'm gonna keep this fairly short, but I am gonna come in to do another hour of uh, progression. So, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get it started. So last time we did this, uh, or we at least did this, and this was, so we'll, we'll do, we'll call this day one, and we're on to day two. And since we, we didn't really do this, uh, so we won't, we'll just remove that. We also didn't add a new gun. Uh, we, this is pretty much all we did. This is fine though. Cause today I have, I, I do have some other things planned. Main thing is I want to, I want to get, uh, I want to make a perk shop so we can buy perks. And this also involves making perks also work. Which will be the main goal of today, because this could be pretty tricky. What I would also like to do is, what I mean by this is so when they spawn in a room, it won't um, be in the way. Uh, but we can also, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. So what, what we could do is we could make it so it's like a, you know, we really could make the shops just its own special room. So instead of you getting a dead end, you get a shop instead. That could be cool. Yeah. Okay, I, I actually really like that idea. I think I'm gonna do that. And if we have time, I will start making guns if I get time over. Uh, because I've concluded that what I've done right now, these are purely template guns. Uh, I, I plan on adding probably more classes also, but uh, I just wanna have these as templates. And now I want to start adding legit guns, and I can add different rarities to them. Um, I also thought it would be something cool that uh, each gun could have like three levels, and uh, each level of a gun like increases its strength, or like gives us special abilities. Um, so that could be great. This is what we got. This is what I want to try and make. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll um, and yeah, I'll check back on you whilst I have. Or after I have done some things. <laughs> Look at this! You pick up the perk. The perk is killed. So we have this block. If I press E on it, it does get brought onto us. But what I'm mainly wondering is what's going on with this cube. So this cube has we have the perk holder and it's holding the the perk that we want it to hold. Great. Oh, I, uh, I, I forgot, uh, you know, a pretty crucial detail that this, this needs to know what the perk ability is. And in this case, it's this, whatever perk, this, this is what we're going to be customizing. This is just the, this is just the base. This uh, doesn't need to be plus one damage, but this is just the template where this is where we're going to add whatever script we want the perk to be doing. Uh, you know, if it's simply a damage script, then we could probably use the same one. Uh, just change it up a bit. But for now, this does nothing. But all I'm trying to see is if this gets activated once we pick it up. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see if that works. And we're gonna pick it up. Um, and we're gonna look on the cube. We have perk pickup, perk holder. And the perk ability is active, yes. as you can see here. Um, now, Something that I didn't even realize until recently, checking through the scripts, is apparently I did add a way to drop guns. Okay, so the perk is here. We're not supposed to have a cube there. That's supposed to be off. I can just turn it off after you pick it up. Uh, but apparently I have a way of dropping guns. You can drop guns. And I'm thinking of if I should do the same with the perks, but it's not as important to drop perks. I mean, you don't even really need to drop the guns at the at a, as of the moment right now but uh that, that would be nice to have to be able to drop perks but i'm not too worried about it right now it's fine as it is i have 15 minutes left so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna make the perk work and some other day we can make the perks be, be able to drop them gun to buff will equal please work Gun holder to buff. We are not finding it. All oh, right, we all right. We're not triggering this. Okay, so 
I'm, I'm, I'm making this way too messy, but I need to get this done. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's, no. Just put this into update. I was gonna do this in a different function. I don't know. Okay, we find the holder. We don't have a gun to buff though. But what if we pick up a gun? Yes! We now have a gun to buff. We'll make a bool if the buff has been applied. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that won't work, because it's only gonna apply to the one weapon. Let's just have the buff be... We're just gonna do that. Uh, we're, we're, I'm running out of time, so we're just gonna have to do this. Oh, I, I just spelt it wrong. Uh, but this is also not gonna work like I wanted to because if we have any other gun It's not gonna be buffing it. So let's just try out the SMG first You see we're Doing two damage What if we pick up the item We're doing two damage. Why are we already doing two damage? Oh, both of them are set to true. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright, okay, now. Alright, now we should be good. I, I know I went slightly over time. Either way, I, I, I didn't even get all my goals done. Oh well. well uh, I, I, at least we got this. This is still progress. It's, yeah, okay, great. It's doing one damage as we want it to. If we go back and pick up the perk. We are now doing two damage. Look at that. But that's unfortunately all we have time for. I was gonna fix up the shop. This was this would have been a uh, actually this yeah this yeah. We didn't even make we didn't even make perk shops work. We didn't even make a perk shop. We we literally just made perks work. That's not great. <laughs> all we did day two was make perks work. Alright, welcome back to some more Unity. This will be another checkup, uh, just another day where I get some progress done, hopefully, because last day wasn't too great. Um, literally all I did was make perks work, like not even perks, I just like make a perk, make one perk work, and not even that well really. But now we got day three, and this is going to be a special. We are going to go for two hours, actually. I feel like I'm going for two hours today, so I can actually get something done. What I want to do today, get a good perk template, so I can easily produce perks, and it should be great. Yes. The main the goal of today is get a good perk template, okay? Let's just get that done, and the bonus, bonus objectives will be make more guns and make more perks and also fix up the shop so we're gonna start up the timer two hours i just i, I just came up with an, a, a, an idea that might be good this could work um i just gotta think, figure out how i'm gonna do it uh, all we need to do is just have an equal spot amount but also just the damage so we're gonna have an equal to both yeah, 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 damage. Plus, buff uh, so now, I, I I think this might just work. I, I figure it out. Uh, but I, what I'm not sure of is how the damage is, is gonna stack. Like if we have multiple perks that are what well, some are adding and some are uh, multiplying. Because if we like, if it's gonna like multiply one damage by five, so we have five damage now, and then it and then it adds plus one plus one then we're going to have less damage. And that's not good. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. But at least it's better now. It should be better. So if we pick up a gun, we do one damage. We're all happy. And now we go back and pick up this thing. 
It should actually just add the two damage. Like we should be doing three now. Or one. Yeah, one also works. Okay, great. You're not gonna believe this. Uh, it wasn't working because... Uh, you know what we can do also? We can, we can, we can add a second one. To see if that completely just ruins it. And to make it even more funny, we'll make the second multiply. Uh, we already know this is gonna do one damage. But what, so I'm just gonna pick this one up right now. Are we doing three damage? No, that's a yeah. lot of <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think that's three damage. <laughs> Look at damage! <laughs> it actually says infinity. That's so funny. I just... Okay, okay, but for real though. Why is it a fucking nine quadrillion? Why? So we're almost already one hour in and uh, yeah, we've gone pretty far. Do we have to do plus equals for some reason? Because what, 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 like, we have an equation and I'm, I'm just making the equation, making it equal that equation. So I don't, that's why I don't understand why it's adding so much. To make it equal gun damage equals plus buff amount. So I literally see no reason for this not to work. What about you? Like I actually don't see a single reason why this should work. Not a single reason why it should work. This seems flawless. <laughs> that does not look like three damage. And new gun. This is so stupid. It is, no, it's not, it's not gonna work either. This is so stupid. Uh, what, 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 what the hell? Damage is set to zero. The fuck? Oh. New gun damage equals. This doesn't, I don't, I don't even think this fixes all my problems that I'm trying to solve right now, but it would be helpful if it at least worked. No. Nope. Wait, 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 hold up, what? Hold up, hold up, this is doing something. We're doing two damage right now. Gun to buff, SMG. New gun, okay, that is good. That's good, that's good, that's really good. That's not gonna work. Add component. I guess we go to the component and call for the function. What do you mean? It's inaccessible due to this projection level. Okay. We'll make it public then. God damn. Could this be the moment we've been waiting? Could this be the moment we've been waiting for? Oh. We picked it up. If I shoot now. No, no. Oh, that's because this is off. All right, and yeah, it's gonna have to be bad. Unfortunately, because I am bad at this. Then we simply want to access the gun to buff, and we want to set that bool. No way this works, right? There's no way this works, right? Okay, there actually was no way. This damage is too. If I go to the perk and I like do this, is it gonna like apply it again? Doesn't. What if I pick up a single one? That's not gonna do shit. So I already have that perk. I buy sniper. Sniper does two damage. That is just so cool. Plus equals. What about just plus? Just two damages two. Great. Can the damage be nine? No? Uh, okay, this has to be it. Yep. One. And then when we pick this up, I want to see more damage. Three? Hold up! We're gonna go buy a sniper. If this sniper does nine damage right now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Also, I, li I like, uh, you can just not enter the boss room and just shoot him from here. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, you might have to fix that. That's another fix, that's a fix for another day. The boss spawns. And then... 
you turn off his collider, and then once you enter the room, you can turn on the. Great! We, we, we yeah, this works. Awesome. Uh, I, I wanna try one thing. I don't think this is gonna work. But uh, I, I wanna see if we can pick up two. Perk up. Don't think that's gonna actually apply plus two. Yeah, it doesn't. I wasn't expecting it to. So, but uh, if we pick up this one that multiplies your damage by two, we should be doing four. Or six. Wait. I mean, six is fine. Kind of curious to why it's six. Buff amount is two. Oh, adding number is also enabled. No, it's still six. Why does it become six? Why does it become six? Oh, it has buff. It's false. Okay, but now it should be two. What if we just buff him out? All right, there we go. I actually can't believe this took so long. This took so long. So this is the multiplication perk where it times your damage by two. And since the SMG animation is one, now it's two. This is good. And if we go and get ourselves a sniper, we do 14. Look at that. This really is not that complicated. But I actually impressed myself by somehow spending two hours. Look, two hours. It's, oh my God. Got one. Okay. <sighs> this is rough. But uh, I'm hoping I hope you enjoyed the video at least. Maybe smash a like for my struggles. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you in the next clip. I once again comment to clock in my one hour of game development a day. Let's just get started. I gotta go to sleep soon. <laughs> day four. I don't want to do anything too crazy. We're, we're gonna do something like, like make guns. Make some guns. That's all we're gonna do. And maybe add a new weapon class. I'll, I'll show you when I've made some stuff. All right, so we are we have 32 minutes left. I have created a new gun, but it's also a new class. The rifle class. Apparently, you know, I was gonna add my own animation. I was gonna do a new animation where the barrel is shooting, but uh, we already got like an animator on this thing of it just going back. Now, I do think this animator is meant for another weapon though. Yeah, the controller is pistol. But the pistol animation is just it's going backwards. Which... Kind of works, actually. That what was... Yeah, no, 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 like... The floor is overlapping with... The trail, it seems. I think I should probably remove collision with this like fl extra floor. But it's just decoration. I just wanted it to be a little bit of variety. And I like the way it looks. All right, I gotta showcase what I just done. I know I was supposed to make more guns, but I, I, I have kind of done a new gun. Uh, this is actually called, I'm just calling this the dual rifle. Uh, it just shoots another bullet. I, like one of my favorite things in games is when a weapon shoots multiple bullets at the same time. Uh, this is probably not the stat, gonna be the stats, but what I've managed to make work here is it has a 2.5 uh, bullet ratio and this is what, what I've also just done now will make any other uh, perks which increases the amount of bullets you shoot so much better, or easy, more easy or compatible. So what this gun does is it shoots two bullets and then it shoots three. And it does this consistently. The spread, I might change the spread a bit, but the spread is cool. And I just gotta tell you how I did it. It's nothing advanced really either. I added a float called bullets to shoot. After we have checked if the timer to shoot is ready, we do the attack animation, we set the damage to projectile, and bullets to shoot. 
plus equals loop amount. What well, loop amount? Now I have multi shoot also, but multi shoot seems to be bugged because whenever I put multi shoot at one, loop amount just goes to a million like instantly. So that's not good. So loop amount is actually what uh, is essentially a multi shot, like how much extra shots we're shooting. Also, it wasn't working properly because if I set the loop amount to two. It was shooting three almost every time, but then it was, I, I figured out it was doing the launch. I just put print launch and put print single launch. And so I figured out that even though I only wanted to shoot twice, two bullets, it did the single launch once and then it did the, the, the regular launch twice. So solution, every time you shoot, bullets shoot decrease by one. And before you shoot, Every time you do shoot a bullet, you increase bullets to shoot by loop amount. So if loop amount is 0.2, we will increase shoot bullets to shoot to 2.2. And then after we've sh uh, it's, we're ready to launch, these will decrease it by 2. So now bullets to shoot is at 0.2. But that's not a full bullet, so we can't shoot yet. And also just in case bullets to shoot goes in negative, I've just set up so bullets to shoot, if it's less than zero, it becomes zero. We don't want to go into bullet depth. <laughs> so yeah, this is really cool. Awesome. It's great. And so if we, if I want to add a perk that makes us shoot more bullets, I just have to make it increase the loop amount value. And we're golden. I'm actually really happy about that. I'm really happy about that. We have five minutes left. I could probably add another gun in that time. All right, time is up. <clears throat> I managed to make one more weapon. You now everything I make here isn't going to be set in stone, but uh, this is the subsonic machine gun and it just shoots really fast. The bullets are decently quick also. I mean this seems just fe feels like normal speed bullets, so maybe I want to make them even faster. It feels like I made some progress today. Oh, that's weird. It's slightly detached. Oh well, that's fine. We can fix that later. So th this is really cool. We got this rifle, which is really OP. I want to increase the damage. Like the damages right now are definitely placeholders that I'm going to have to rebalance later on. We got new stuff and I think that is really great. It feels like I'm making progress, but I have been thinking about it and I have some ideas on how I can fix it. I'm really not that smart. Like obviously I've looked at tutorials and recently I've looked at some tutorials to just to learn some things and really I just want to see what they've written in their code I don't know for some reason I I just can't seem to be able to wrap my head around it so I prefer just doing it myself even if I'm doing it in not a great way but anyway I hope you're enjoying the episode still I hope I hope you're still watching maybe leave a nice comment and I'll see you tomorrow but you will probably see this within the next second or so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that works. If I just throw on more perk damage to this guy like that, you can see by each one it's increasing. We love to see that. How are you now gonna get a per uh, a damage multiplier that reads the final damage? That is exactly what we're gonna get to. Damage increases. So, I don't think it's supposed to be 18. Okay. That's a bit silly. We are going to be doing 6 damage. Right. Yeah. And now if you pick up a plus 1, does that go to 7 or does that go to 8? It's going to go to... It's going to go to 10. 10? Yeah, because we have oh, 3. Plus two. Yeah, it's, it's plus 2, not plus 1. Yeah, it's 10. Woohoo! Yeah, that's lovely. We, can do, we do a third one. It's going to be... Plus 14. Yeah. This. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we, we, we want to get the damage multiplier. That's what that's the number we, we want. So damage, we do the damage multiplier. Plus sick. Awesome. So we should be all good. Uh green lights all clear to go. I, I forgot something. We make is multi flying true. Damage perk one, and then we'll make make another one. We'll call this one 
damage multiplier plus spell. This, this will be a... If, I, if I'm right, this should just increase the multiplier by 1. So first, the time you pick it up, damage multiplier will be 2, that will be 3, and that will be 4. So it's not actually multiplying by 2 every time. Works. Works work. Works great. This is good. Good things are happening. A spawn that damage multiplier over here. And we're going to do a damage plus 1. Should be increasing our damage by 1. 2 damage. Or 3. Why not? Why that does that? You do 2. Oh, right. That's still 2. Okay. That's fine. Uh, but I'm also curious about though, what's going to happen when we pick up the multiple. 3, huh? But if I go into this, we can clearly tell that this is checked. Yes. When we spawn the prefab, it, it should also be checked. Okay, great. Okay. And then we pick this up. We'll try and it. Six. <laughs> Why is this adding and oh my god, this is adding and multiplying. That doesn't seem very right. This is the thing that's adding a component. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're just gonna create another script and then that that SMG. We pick it up and nothing changed. <laughs> like it actually should just be working, but uh, it, it don't. Really? Really? We're not even getting bras. Let's just add another thing. Oh, like. That is so what I'm feeling. Why is that? Why is that the case? It just hasn't buffed. But like, why? This is ridiculous. We should be doing six damage, I think. Yeah. Why do we do 3 damage? Wait, hold up. Why? Because it's a multiply. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, no, it's 2! Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, it does! That's right! Yeah, it does! I for- Oh, I, I know what I've forgotten now. I know. Get the gun. And this is where we're gonna see some magic happen. Let's have the script. We get one. We get perk damage, alright? And damage on our gun is three. Now, watch as we pick up this next one. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, and we don't have another script. It doesn't clog up the list with the script. However, what it's not doing is ap actually applying the damage. Because it's a has buff has already happened. We'll make has buffed false? <laughs> I guess that's what we do. Like, that should work. I think? And if that works, I think we just saved ourselves a bunch of headaches later. Huh? Six, huh? Ten, huh? Yes, it's adding. <laughs> Alright. Next one. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's go. It works for now. Uh, it, that's it's probably gonna come back and bite me in the oh. at some point. Okay, maybe that works great. Works better. I'd say I'm done. We're, we're, we're on two hours, so we'll, we'll call it two hours. All right, we're gonna start a timer. Uh, we have these things on the ground though. These are the perks. And they actually kind of work now. So you pick one up, and our damage is now three. What would happen if we picked up a second one? Or even a third? <gasps> Let, please. Oh, it's bugged. Oh, you want even a bug? You want a bucket? Okay, it's bugged. Great. Well, I think I would want to just add some more stuff. Nothing too crazy. So, I have adjusted some things, namely player health. I'm also working on uh, making the weapons a bit um, work a bit better. Yeah, this pistol issue is fairly not too fast. SMG is stupid fast because it's an epic, and then this rifle is pretty cool. And the enemies have more health. Well, I demolish them because this rifle is really good. It's legendary, so you're probably not going to see a lot of them. 
Would that work, perhaps? Oh yeah, it does. Oh shit, epic. That's awesome. Yeah, and then it says 30 for its damage. Sick, awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that is a bit weird because there's a bunch of numbers there. So. Does this work? Great. So now the fire rate only has two decimals. Yep. Simple as that. Just to make sure it works. You just get to see multi shell is 2.5. This probably won't work, but. A man can dream. So just to test this out, let's make the shelter values some wacky numbers. Yeah, it adds them together. Dad. Commas. There's a lot of pluses, but at least it will be great. Not a blessing, not a comma. Look at that, that is beautiful. And now if we pick it up and shoot, you'll see that the shelter spread is kind of whack. Yo, the timer is up. Welcome back to more Unity, and in today's update, you're not gonna believe this, but I will be continuing on my game. I wanna work, I wanna, I really wanna fix a few things. The starting room is still a bit messy, but there's a, th there's a few things I wanna, I wanna fix right now. Namely, give each room a roof. Alright, so, let's start a timer. Let's start fixing things. I'm gonna do this. If gun multi-shot is equals to one. Because I just came up with an idea. It might be a cool idea to have a gun that uh, is not guaranteed to shoot every time. Like a strong gun, but only has a 50% chance of shooting. Could be cool. Well, not a 50% chance, but every other bullet won't even shoot. Actually, hmm. that would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? I will still do this. If gun multi shot is one, we're going to string. Actually, no, screw it. No, no, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget it. That took longer than expected. That took like 20 minutes, but we don't have a roof. What the fuck? The roof is good. What do you mean? Like, what? Like, what? Why? Why? Why doesn't the room just come with a roof anyway? Why doesn't the room come with a roof anyway? Because I made the room. Oh. I'd never put a roof on it. Actually, all, all other rooms seems to be. But like, for real though, why is the roof get being like this? Why can't the roof just be normal, huh? Oh, right. That's because we already, right. I, I'm silly. We already have this room down, so that's why the prefab wants to be weird. I, I, I just gotta fix it manually. Then we are, we're jamming like that. Cool. It's not that easy to notice. I mean, I guess you'd notice it in a, a bunch of other games also. But like this looks strange. Uh, yeah, that. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. I guess an easier way to do it would just be um, place a shop spawn manually into each room. But uh, we will, of course, have it so it checks how many shops there already are. So. There's already like two or three, and it will say, no, don't spawn a shop, if you're successful. Or if you just get super unlucky and never get a shop. Yeah, well, that's like unfortunate. Alright, so there you have it, the, the one hour up. We got roofs, yippee, and I have made, I have fixed the shop. So shops will no longer be randomly spawning in whatever room they please. Sorry, what? The, the, okay, not only is the shop not rotated correctly, you gotta fix that. But there's not- it's not supposed to spawn a shop in the f boss room. I guess he- hmm. I guess he's here because the shop room was the last room generated. I don't know, that's kind of funny. Or maybe I should just make the shop room a uh, top and bottom. Uh, like, like, so like, the shop room leads to the next room. Because then we wouldn't- then we don't have any risk of the boss spawning it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do next time. I'll fix it up and do that. So yeah, let's go. And with that, I thank you very much for sticking around till the end. And hopefully I'll be continuing this by doing 
by showcasing the next seven days of progress. And yeah, I can tell you it's coming along great. So I definitely recommend you to stick around for the next one and possibly even subscribe so you know when it's out. It's all up to you though, of course. Anyway, here are some of the noteworthy things that we did during this, these, this first week. Day one, I made a shop have things you can buy. On day two, we made one perk work. On day three, I, we got one okay per template. So it's coming along. And then on day four, we made a new class, the rifle class, and as well as a new weapon, the subsonic machine gun. On day five, we fixed perks and it works a lot better. And made two simple perks. Day six, we made a script to change info text on weapons. It works great. That's very good. And rooms, on day seven, rooms have now have roofs. And shops have their own room now. So, with that, much love, and don't forget to take care. Bye. Mwah.